sepsis and multi organ failure. Sepsis is defined as the presence of systemic inflammatory response syndrome within the documented infection induced by microbial invasion or toxins in the bloodstream. Severe sepsis refers to sepsis with end organ dysfunction due to poor perfusion. Septic shock refers to sepsis with hypotension, organ dysfunction, and vasodilatation. The examples include the gram positive shock like staphylococci, streptococci, secondary to the fluid loss caused by exotoxin, gram negative shock like E. coli, Klebsiella, Proteus, Pseudomonas, secondary to vasodilatation caused by endotoxin like copolysaccharides, neonates, uh, GBS, E. coli, Listeria, monocytogenes, hemophilus influenza, children, hemophilus influenza, pneumococcus, meningococcus, adults, gram positive cocci anaerobic gram-negative bacilli anaerobes dependent on the presumed site of infection, IV drug users in dwelling lines like Staph aureus, coagulase negative, Staphylococcus species, asplenic patients, pneumococcus, hemophilus influenzae, meningococcus in encapsulated organisms. So the patients usually present with abrupt onset of fever, chills, altered mental status, Tachypnea, tachycardia, severe sepsis may lead to end organ dysfunction such as renal hepatic failure and hypotension occurs in the case of septic shock. Septic shock is typically warm shock uh, with warm skin and extremities. This contrasts with the cardiogenic shock which typically presents with the cool skin and extremities. Petechia, echimosis and abnormal coagulation tests such as DIC in 2-3% to of the patients. Initial response is uh, of any pathogen release is pro-inflammatory mediators which allow WBC to reach to the infected area. Labs show leukocytosis or leukopenia with increased bands, thrombocytopenia, evidence of decreased tissue perfusion like increased creatinine, increased LFT and lactate and the abnormal coagulation studies increased INR. It is critical to obtain the cultures of all appropriate sites, the blood, sputum, CSF, wound, urine. Imaging chest x-ray CT may aid establishing the etiology or site of infection. The endothelium uh, is important it, uh, as it releases the mediators of vasodilatation and vasoconstriction. Release of cytokines and inflammatory mediators allow the leukocytosis to access leukocytes to access the site plays an important role in coagulation cascade, maintaining the physiological equilibrium between the coagulation and fibrinolysis. DIC is caused by, uh, causes bleeding, large vessel thrombosis, hemorrhagic tissue necrosis, microthrombi leading to organ failure, widespread clotting causes consumption of low platelets, uh, cause uh, and clotting factors uh, and fibrinogen and as a result the bleeding uh, risk increases. Testing for DIC, APDD, INR, platelets, low count fibrinogen after increase in coagulation and fibrin formation, fibrinolysis results in raised FDP and raised d -dime. The diagnostic test of two or more of the following tachycardia more than 90%, core temperature less than 36%, tachypnea more than 20 beats per minute, WBC count more than 12 or less than 4, 10% uh, immature neutrophils. These criteria fulfill the, uh, the criteria for systemic inflammatory response syndrome. Clinical progression, sepsis two or more of the cells plus Documented suspected infection plus commonly recognized signs of infection with identifiable pathogen being isolated. Possible sites of a new infection is pneumonia or empyema, urinary tract infection, acute abdominal infection, meningitis, skin soft tissue inflammation, bone joint infection, catheter or device infection, endocarditis, and wound infection. Severe sepsis is sepsis plus one organ dysfunction, circulatory failure, respiratory failure, 
रीजनल फेलियर हेमेटोलॉजिकल फेलियर हेपेटिक फेलियर और ब्रेन फेलियर सेप्टिक शॉक इज एन एक्यूट सर्कुलेटरी फेलियर एक्सप्लेन बाय अदर कॉजेस डिफाइंड एज परसिस्टेंट आर्टिकल हाइपोटेंशन विद सिस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर लेस देन 90 मैप ऑफ लेस देन 65 और रिडक्शन एज बीपी 40 मिलीमीटर्स पर मर्क्यूरी फ्रॉम बेसलाइन डिस्पाइट द एडिक्वेट वॉल्यूम रिससिटेशन Initially septic shock is suggested by the evidence of an organ hypoperfusion hemodynamic instability mortal risk in decreased urine output altered level of consciousness lactic and metabolic acidosis later circulatory failure leading to a multi organ failure reduced srv leaking capillaries slightly increased followed by decreased cardiac output coagulopathy with thrombocytopenia ards arf liver failure and hypoglycemia the treatment include icu admission may require uh, and treat uh, aggressively with iv fluid empiric antibiotics based on uh, likely source of infection and vasopressin treat the underlying factors remove foley catheter or infected lines and the primary goal is to maintain bp and perfuse and organs thank you